in this video, we will see how we can upgrade our MySQL cluster using KubeDB. For upgrading, you need to apply the KubeDB of request of upgrading. Uh, here is the YAML for the Cube of request. So in this of request, we are uh, referring to a MySQL of request since we are upgrading our MySQL cluster. And then in the metadata section, we are naming it. And the namespace will be for this is demo. And your database, uh, the database you will be referring to that also need to be in the demo namespace. And for database reference, we are referring to the database name MySQL. And then in the type, we are we are telling that the obstacles type will be upgrade. And in the upgrade, we are giving the target version of 8.0.27. So let's see this in action. So we have already a cluster of MySQL 5.7.36. So we want to upgrade into the latest version to 8.0.27. So let's apply the upgrading channel. So we can see that now our upgrade request has been created. What it will do is uh, it will terminate the systems one by one and it will be upgraded, upgraded into the next version. Uh, now we can see that the first, the MySQL one instance has been uh, terminated and restart. So let's wait for it to join in the cluster. Uh, it will take some time. So I think the first one is upgraded successfully. So we can see that uh, we have been successfully upgraded the first one, first one to 8.0.27. Let's validate our data. So we can see that our migrate stable is also there. So we can see that our data also first is there. Uh, in the meantime, what I want to say is that our database uh, in the critical critical section means that it will not all the replica has been joining in the cluster, but it will still allow you to read or write data. Let's see, let's see which one is the primary. So now we can see that the MySQL zero instance is the primary right now. So we'll be able to log in and uh, the third one is terminating. So I think uh, the second one is all already joined in the cluster. So the primary will be 
between the MySQL one or two. Uh, so I can see the my school two instance is the primary. So I can create a new database there. So it's allow allowing me to read and write uh, when it is in the critical section too. So let's wait for the my school zero instance to join in the cluster and update the upgrade that the upgrade of people will be successful. So we can see that our all of the version has been already upgraded and the database, the upgrade of CQS is successful and the database in the predictor. So let's validate their group information. So we can see that every, every instance has successfully joined in the cluster and in the next video, we will see how we can take backup using stash.